Greetings, home slicers. I can't be I can't be in the in the frame for this because I've got the uh, the phone on a tripod here. But I thought to, I just came back from a uh, Motorola product launch event, which a whole bunch of new things were introduced, and uh, so I know that uh, the hip thing to do is do an unboxing video. So that's what I'm going to do for you right now. Here are all the things that I picked up today and what it's like to take things out of the hermetically seared packages and into the harsh harsh reality of the outside world. Let's take a look. Okay, first we have the Power Pack Micro. Let's not bother unboxing this. It, but it's a fairly cool-ish little recharging thing that also it has a Bluetooth in it. And so when you have the appropriate app loaded on any Android device, the app will tell you where your car keys are because it is also a keychain. Uh, and it also works the other way around because this also has a button on the side so that when you tap that, it will also show, it will also make the app phone uh, on the phone beep. So you can use this to find your phone and your phone to find your keys. Interesting. Okay, but I think more interesting and more fun is the Moto G, the Moto 360, and the Moto X. Let's start with the Moto X. Actually, out of the sleeve. Yoink. And see, I hope, you, I hope you're entertained by unboxing. I believe that unboxing is mostly about taking it out of the box. I don't know what you like about this stuff. Uh, and so here it is. Uh, pretty slick. It's uh, much larger than the uh, Moto X, of which I have the original Moto X, of which I happen to have an example right here. So that shows you what we're talking about, like that. So it's a l larger screen. They hope also hopefully fixed the camera. One of the most visible things that they fixed here is that they add an LED ring light, so to speak. So there are actually LEDs to the left and the right, and not just one on the bottom there. But texting and driving, it can wait. Hey, public service that message. Here is the usual. Uh, contracts that have fallen off. I don't care. Charger. There you go. That's going to be lost. Uh, you're going to be looking forward to getting this for Christmas presents. In, in lieu of cards, I'll send chargers and cables from phones that I've been testing that never actually bothered to even take out the packaging. And, ooh, a SIM card extractor. Which, actually, quite a nice one. Uh, here's, a, here's a tip that is actually quite valuable. I have my SIM card extractor in a little a little envelope inside my wallet because these things are so tiny you will not be able to find them when you need them if you put them in a desk drawer or even in a toolbox but since they're so small if I keep it in my wallet every time I need a SIM extractor I can find it in my wallet and uh, also if you want to make really interesting and bizarre jello molds hang on to these because no one will figure out what it is that, uh, that you're supposed to be digging into for dessert here and okay so that's Project number one, and I think I'm going to plug this into the charger because I'm about to leave and have a little bit of an excursion and hopefully put a little top up on that. Okay, here is the Moto G, which is their less expensive phone. This is the one that costs uh, $179 and you own it, and it's actually a fairly nicely kitted out phone. Um, it's, uh, let's see, size-wise, it is... Here is the Nexus 5, which I just unplugged uh, in order to plug in the other thing, and they're almost exactly the same size as that. It takes, uh, uh, they added uh, the larger screen, they added uh, uh, front firing speakers here and that, that was due directly to feedback from their customers about what they were doing with it. Another thing that they added is, I think it's this drawer here. Or am I about to pull off a button? Well, they added an SD card slot uh, because one of the re reasons why this is a $179 contract, contract free phone is that they don't put in a huge amount of memory. This has eight gigabytes of storage, but now that it has a, a card slot, now you can add infinite storage. And the other cool thing, which is something that I definitely appreciate when I'm on the road like this, is that uh, if you have a, a micro SD, uh, SD card in your camera inside a full-size SD card carrier, that means that you can transfer photos as easily as popping a card out of one thing and then popping it into the other thing. I've been sort of stuck with my iPad, and the only thing that I find annoying about that uh, separation is trying to get files from or photos from one place to another. There's a mechanism for it, but sometimes that mechanism sort of fails you. Let's dig down into the strata of the box. More Christmas presents for uh, relatives that kind of wishing why they bothered to send me a card if I send them AC adapters. Interesting, this one is actually hardwired into the plug. I bet this has something to do with uh, making it less expensive uh, or maybe making it international. And once again, the 
uh, next installments of the Hunger Games, one, two, three. Not a whole lot, of, pretty thin on plot. They're gonna make it a port on effects. And now, perhaps the most interesting part, so interesting that I knocked the tripod over, the Moto 360, as to indicate of how interesting that they've done with this. It's, they call it not a wearable, but the next movement in wristwatches. And to underscore that, hey look, it's completely round. Hey, and hey look, it actually can be like your like little Barbie makeup purse for if they were traveling on Pan Am Airways to, the, to Tahiti in 1963. Uh, don't know what that means, but okay. You take this off, souffle, oops, souffle mode, like that, and ba -bum, here is the Moto 360. And this is in black leather. Uh, you, it, it's going to ship with uh, either black leather or gray leather, your choice. Uh, and you get this stress reducer, which is always a good thing if you're going to be reviewing certain other half-baked betas of operating system at the same time that you're reviewing uh, this this other thing right here, uh, protective prophylactic. Um, one thing I will say right off the bat, and here I'm wearing a uh, a uh, a Pebble smartwatch. Photos don't really do this justice. When it's on your wrist, it actually doesn't seem silly. On photos, it looks huge and big and honking and stupid, but it actually is within the guide, within the, 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 within the reasonable bandwidth of what you would have uh, on a watch band. Uh, also, you notice that you've got the contact points for what is a completely standard watch band, you can switch out what you want, are actually recessed so that if you have a smaller sized wrist, uh, it will fit smaller sized wrists. Uh, so that's that. The another interesting, curious Jello mold, and it also comes with. If you want to peek at what it looks like inside the box, it also comes with a really nice desktop charger that charges via just simple induction, and you simply set it in there like that, however you please. And if this were actually charged up, this would immediately go into like. Bedstead, be bedside mode, in which it would just turn into a bedside clock while it is charging, uh, and so, but no contact whatsoever. Oh, another thing I meant to, I should mention is that so I actually wore this for the wore one of these for the first time. I didn't go to Google I/O, so I didn't have an opportunity to try it out then. Uh, but it's also really, really light. I mean, I would say that just simply by feel alone, that this and this. Actually, this one feels heavier, if you can believe it, than this. And also, when the round screen lights up, again, first time wearing it on my wrist and playing with it this, this afternoon, it, you know, roundness on a watch is part of the user interface, I find. That I was interacting and playing with this uh, differently than I did this, which is a wonderful watch, but I think of it as a computing device. And the thing that they were talking about today I'm putting putting together their side of the story is that they wanted people to interact with this as though it were a watch, not as though it were a digital accessory. So, of course, people are still figuring out whether they want a device like this, and if so, what sort of role it should play. So, there's I'm glad that there are different companies taking different approaches because we're not going to know which one is the best way until we put lots of these into the marketplace and people get a chance to try them out, and that's when the second and third generation of the stuff is going to be uh, so cool to play with. But let's take a look at, again, more Christmas presents for people that are low on my list. That's interesting. Another hardwired corded uh, charging cable. I wonder if it is, yeah, it's a standard micro USB, thank heavens. So it's not as though I have to take a special charger with me uh, in order to make that work. Of course, if I travel with this for uh, more than a day, I'm going to have to make sure I take this charger with me because the battery life is one full day, and let's not nitpick about how many hours are in that full day, but they promise that you can get a full day's worth of wear and use out of it. Uh, whereas this one, uh, I have sometimes been caught with this uncharged, uh, but it gets days and days and days, not quite a full week, but enough days that you forget necessarily when the last time you uh, connected this up to the charger. Uh, but like the Pebble, uh, the Moto 360 is also uh, passes the usual uh, wearable, wettable technology test. So we'll be testing those out. I, I promise you, you know, there, there will be no nudie photos of myself in the shower uh, showing you how waterproof this thing is because you don't want that, I don't want that. Really, let's stop thinking about that. So, anything else in there? I wonder if there's a sticker or something. There should be a window sticker. And nope, here is just some cards showing you, again, more more Hunger Games material. 
no descriptions, but here is how to power it on. And, and I'm sure this is going to be instructions on how to pair it with the device. Um, this will, uh, you need the Android Wear app. So I'm leaving in the, leaving for to do some site. Okay, yes, uh, here in the my hotel in Chicago, uh, it's uh, that clever, puckish version of the uh, cell strength chart that says I have three bars, but that's only like in an academic sense. In a functional sense, you know, of actual connecting to the Google Play Store and being able to download something from it, no, not so much. Uh, so I'll just complete what I was going to say before, before I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, actually, these, uh, it's... I should mention that this is just really, really light. I mean, crazy light. I'm feeling this in both hands. This actually feels lighter than this. Uh, the also the other thing that I don't know if I mentioned before, I was interrupted by doing damn diagnostics and trying to solve problems, <laughs> um, is that this works absolutely touchlessly. There is a mechanical button that you can touch to make things happen, but you don't need to. You can actually just speak to make things happen. Whereas with this, uh, it's simpler, it's less expensive, this is 250 bucks. this is uh, as little as 120 130 I think. Uh, but this also, you have to press the clicky buttons to make things happen, which is not something you might be able to do if you're running through an airport with the luggage in both hands. Uh, the other thing I should point out is that, if you look in the back, you can see that little light. That's actually a sensor that is uh, going to sense your uh, heart rate. So it can sense motion, it can sense your heart rate. Uh, it also uses that a way to figure out when the watch is on someone's body and when the watch is not on someone's body. So a lot of interesting stuff. Once again, this video is just, you know, the unboxing nonsense and also sort of walking you through information. This is not opinion because as you can, as you've seen with your very two eyes, uh, I've had zero hands-on uh, experience outside of a controlled demo area. But thank you. I'm going to my, my, my other commentary right now. Uh, but I will say that what I liked, I what I saw, I liked. And I was very encouraged. Uh, certainly, again, I was sort of put off by the size of this and the photos and videos I'd seen. But wearing it seemed to be another thing entirely. So I'm actually going to put this on while I walk around the town. So hopefully when I leave the, when I leave the hotel, I'll be able to download apps and actually uh, make this actually work. So... You'll, I think you'll have to wait a while before I actually give you more opinions on it, but this is an unboxing video, and hopefully uh, you've seen enough to whet your appetite for a pre-day one thing. By the way, this, entirely, this entire thing has been done under NDA, because I'm not supposed to publish any of this until tomorrow. Oh well. Hope you had a great time. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Yay! I could have been a puppeteer. This really isn't so hard. See, I didn't even paint a smiley face or anything on my hand. It looked, it worked great. It's time to play the... Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Okay, Google. Pictures of thanks for watching. Pictures of thanks for watching.